Hey everybody. Today I got this computer for service and the thing that's going on with it is something I don't see very often. The keyboard on this machine somewhat works, somewhat doesn't. This is a Toshiba Satellite C655 notebook and it's not even that old. These computers are only, I'd say this model series is maybe a couple years older so I just worked on one um, about a month or so ago, a different one. But the owner of the machine has went ahead and marked the keys that don't work with the um, with red marker. The tab key doesn't work. W doesn't work. F doesn't work. H, K, L, P, backspace, slash, three. Those are dead. As you can see here, I'll press each and every one of them. And it's not typing. So the first thing I'm going to try to do with this machine is I'm going to go ahead and power it down and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the keyboard out and reseat the cable. Sometimes the cable might come loose and that could possibly cause this kind of issue. So I'll go ahead and do that now. I'm going to shut it down. And it's been a while since I've been making many videos for YouTube. <clears throat> been kind of busy and I just had all for my wisdom teeth removed, so I'm having to recover from that. As I am making this video, my jaw is sort of in pain, but it's not too big of a deal. <clears throat> Let's see, today is Tuesday, and I had the surgery done last Friday. So anyways, you take out a key take a keyboard or something out of machine, you always want to, well, any kind of <clears throat> laptop service, and you want to take the battery out first thing. You know, this one the battery just slides out. I'll set that to the side. I'll grab my handy screwdriver set. Okay, now that the battery has been taken out, I'm going to take the keyboard out. Now, some laptops, well, actually, many of them out there, have keyboards that actually screw in from the bottom of the laptop. Unless you have screws available in certain parts for the keyboard and you have screws available under the um, memory door. Well, many Toshibas, at least I've experienced, the keyboard is screwed in from the top side. A lot of satellite computers are like this. You have this um, plastic flange here and it just pops off. We're going to pop that off carefully. There's little snaps in there, you gotta be careful with those. I'll set that to the side. And on this machine we have four screws that hold the keyboard into the um, notebook. We're going to take those out. Yes, it's been a while since I actually got to do a repair video for you guys. I mentioned I was busy, but um, more busy in terms of messing with cycling, that kind of stuff. I have been very busy with computer repairs other than basic reinstalls and that kind of stuff. So yes, Cube Computer Channel has been pretty quiet in terms of uploads. New uploads anyway. Anyway, so the keyboard just lifts up. We're going to check this connection here. It appears to be seated just fine. But I'm going to go ahead and disconnect. I'm going to physically inspect the keyboard. Now I notice um, we have a spot here and here. This could be caused due to physical damage. Now what gets me is um, I'm not sure. I'm serious to doubt all these thumbprints are mine. There's a lot of thumbprints on the bottom of this keyboard, like it's been like it's been worked on before. I'm trying to remember, trying to think if this is a um, stock keyboard. I'm gonna assume it is, but um, anyways. Before I put the keyboard back on, I'll show you something that's kind of funny here with this Toshiba computer. Is um, most of the time. To access your Wi-Fi card, you have to go to the bottom side of the computer. On this one, you have access from under the keyboard. 
and you also have easy access to the CMOS battery. So it's definitely good ideas in mind with the design of this machine. If your CMOS battery goes dead, you don't have to tear the whole computer apart. <laughs> this owner's the owner of this computer, um, his wife has a compact, and the CMOS battery come loose from the motherboard. That required a full teardown to get um, to the battery, to the CMOS battery. That computer was a compact Presario CQ62, um, I believe. <clears throat> Anyways, I'll go ahead and reseat this connection for the keyboard and see if that solves the problem. If it does, I want to replace the keyboard. I have to buy a new one. I tell you, it's very odd to see a keyboard failure. I mean, obviously, there's physical abuse that can happen, but this keyboard doesn't look physically abused. As a matter of fact, the, probably the more common reason you have to have keyboards replaced is because they lose their keys. Keys get popped off and you can't find them. But with this one, all the keys are intact. So I'm going to go ahead and um, reassemble this thing and see if the keyboard works like it's supposed to. Okay, so basically I flipped the keyboard back in and screwed the um, keyboard into place. Didn't put the um, plastic cover back on. We're just testing. So anyways, we'll pump the battery back in and we'll start it back up. See how it goes. Okay, I got WordPad pulled up. Still not getting anything. I'll press G and we get something. So that tells me this keyboard is going to be replaced. Okay, it's only a day later and the replacement keyboard has arrived. Got off of Amazon and since I'm since I have an Amazon student membership that includes the prime shipping, which is free two day shipping. But the surprising thing is this is the second time I believe that I've ordered something with Amazon Prime and it gets here the next day. So anyways, let's go ahead and unbox this new keyboard and install it. Okay, there's the old keyboard on the machine, and here is the new keyboard. Looks just like the original. So I'll go ahead and replace it. Just like I did last time, take these screws out, there's four screws. Slip it right out and detach the cable. Basically, repeat the same thing for the replacement keyboard. In terms of installing it. Make sure the ribbon cable is in all the way. It's locked in place. So go ahead and gently set the keyboard back into the little tracks. This sits down on the laptop and we'll put the screws back in. That one notch sticking up, gotta get that fixed. There.
we'll go ahead and reseat this <clears throat> the snap in cover. Now go ahead and reinsert the battery. And start it back up. And check to make sure the keyboard's working. I'm just going to repeat the same thing I did last time. Open up WordPad. Let's see. Check our numbers. Backspace works. Tab works. Check our letters. Caps lock works. Enter works. Space works. Shift key works. Left shift. Right key. I mean, right shift key works. Scroll keys work. Num lock works. Check the number keys on the right. All those work. So we have a fully functioning keyboard. I didn't test all the keys, but obviously the keyboard is fixed. <clears throat> because obviously on the old keyboard we had some keys that weren't working. And those keys are working right now, so that pretty much solves the problem. Don't save this document, obviously. Windows key works. Anyways, that was replacing the keyboard on a Toshiba Satellite C655. So anyways, any questions or comments, feel free to ask and thanks for watching.